বিপিন চৌধুরীর ল্যাপস অফ মেমোরি বাই সত্যজিৎ রয় দিস ইজ দ্য স্টোরি অফ আ ম্যান হু বিকেম এ ভিকটিম অফ ইস ফ্রেন্ডস প্র্যাঙ্ক বিপিন চৌধুরী হ্যাড বিন ওয়ার্কিং ফর দ্য লাস্ট টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ ইয়ার্স ইন রেপুটেড কোম্পানি ইন ক্যালকাটা হি হ্যাড নো ফ্যামিলি অ্যান্ড ডিড নট লাইক সোশ্যালাইজিং হি ওয়াজ ভেরি ফন্ড অফ রিডিং বুকস After work every Monday he would visit a particular bookstore to buy books for the week. One Monday while he was borrowing the books in the store a stranger introduced himself as Porimal Ghosh. He told Bipin they had met in Rachi in October 1958. He recounted arranging for a car to take Bipin to Hudro Falls. He also recollected getting iodine for Bipin's injured knee when he had a fall. The stranger reminded Bipin that his friend Dinesh Mukherjee was also in Rachi around the same time. He recounted Bipin telling him about his late wife and insane brother. Bipin told the stranger he had never been to Rachi in his life. Bipin told the man he did not recognize him at all. Bipin however realized that the stranger knew quite a few personal details about him. Back in his car, Bipin rolled up his pants to find a scar on his knee, indicative of a past injury. Bipin almost thought he was losing his mind. He felt even worse when his friend Dinesh Mukherjee confirmed that they had visited Rachi in October 1958. Bipin felt terribly upset wondering how he could forget only one incident but remember everything else. As he lay down to rest, Bipin's schoolmate Chunilal dropped by for a visit. Chunilal wanted Bipin to help him find a job so he kept coming to Bipin again and again. Bipin had told Chunilal many times that he was unable to help him. However, Bipin decided to meet Chunilal and ask him whether he remembered anything about Bipin's visit to Rachi. Chunilal was amazed to find that Bipin could not remember having visited Rachi in October 1958. Feeling extremely worried, Bipin called for a doctor who advised him to visit Rachi. Bipin went to Rachi and to Hudru Falls, but he did not find any of it familiar. This made him feel worse and he fainted. When he regained consciousness, Bipin was convinced He would lose his willpower, desire to work, and his sanity. When he returned to Calcutta, he received a letter. It was from Chuni Lal. Chuni Lal had written that the prank was his way of getting back at Bipin because wealth and power had changed him. Because Bipin did not help Chuni Lal, Chuni Lal decided to use his imagination to push Bipin with a story that was a complete lie.